Hello, my little cupcakes. I have a great story to read. I'm going to read the words and then I'm going to show you the pictures. The name of this book is The Little Red Fort. I hope you enjoy it. I did. I do. The Little Red Fort. Ruby's mind was always full of ideas. She always had ideas of what to do, how to do it. One day she found some old boards. Who wants to help me build something? She asked her brothers. So she asked her brothers, you want to help me? Let's see what they say. Let's see. Oscar Lee pretended not to hear her. Rodrigo gave her a look that could melt popsicles. Jose almost fell off the fence. You don't know how to build anything, they said. Ruby shrugged. Then I'll learn. So they told her sister, you can't do that. You don't know how to do that. And she did. She began gathering boards, making plans. Who wants to help me draw the plans, Ruby asked. The boys clutched their sides and howled with laughter. Not me, said Oscar Lee. I don't think so, said Rodrigo. No way, said Jose. I'm too busy. Fine, said Ruby. I'll draw them myself. So they just said, nope, we're too busy. We're not going to help you. They didn't think she could do it, I think. And she did. She drew the plans. Say how she was going to make her fort. Satisfied with her plans, Ruby asked, Who wants to help me gather the supplies? Not me, said Oscar Lee. I don't think so, said Rodrigo. No way, said Jose. I'm too busy. Fine, said Ruby. I'll gather them all myself. So she asked her brothers for help again, and they just said, nope, we're too busy. Can't help ya. And she did. She gathered the supplies all by herself. When all the supplies were gathered, Ruby asked, who wants to help me cut the boards? Not me, said Oscar Lee. I don't think so, said Rodrigo. No way, said Jose. I'm too busy. Fine, said Ruby, I'll cut them myself. She said, fine, you don't want to help? I'll do it myself then. And she did, with the help of her mama. They cut the boards, they measured it, they cut them up. I think she's going to do this, you guys. When all the boards were neatly cut, Ruby sang, who wants to help me? Hammer in the nails. Not me, said Oscar Lee. I don't think so, said Rodrigo. No way, said Jose. I'm too busy. Fine, said Ruby. I'll hammer them all myself. So she asked her brothers again for help. They said, no, nah, we're too busy. We're swimming. We're sitting by the pool. Can't help you. And she did, with the help of her nana and mama. They hammered in all the nails. They were building her a nice little fort. Soon Ruby's creation was complete. Who wants to play in the fort, she called. Me, me, said Oscar Lee. Let's go, said Rodrigo. I'll play, said Jose. I'm not busy anymore. Hmm. She asked them if they would help, or if they wanted to play in the fort. Now they wanted to play. Let's see what Ruby says. Not so fast, Ruby said. You didn't help me draw the plans, or gather the supplies, or cut the boards, or hammer the nails. You said I didn't know how to build, and you laughed at me. I'm going to play in the fort by myself. Thanks anyway. So she told not so fast, brothers. You wouldn't help me do all the things I needed to do. And she did, she had a great time. She had a sign, Ruby's Fort. She was enjoying herself. We didn't want to play anyway, the boys said, but they really did. Soon they huddled, whispered, and got straight to work. Oscar Lee made a mailbox. Rodrigo planted flowers. Jose painted the fort fire engine red. Ruby was delighted. So they, they got together and decided they, they would do something to try and let, her, let them in. They realized she had, had a good idea. That evening the boys followed a delicious aroma to a fort warming party. Who wants to help me clean this plate, Ruby asked. We do, the boys said. She had a plate full of cookies. They said, we too, we'll help you. We'll help you clean this plate. Please. 
And they did. Look at them with all the chocolate on their lips. They had a good party. Then, hope you liked it. <laughs>